thanks for joining me today. We're going to start a series. This is going to be on setting up a muzzle loader for short range for brush hunting. And on another video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a crossbow. I'm uh, taking the stock scope off and, and replacing it with one from Hawk Optics. Now, this scope I'm using today is from Hawk Optics, and it's a 2x7. We are going to, the gun's already had a scope on it. I simply took it off. It was uh, it wouldn't hold zero, so it goes in the trash, and we're going to replace it with this one, a lighted reticle, really nice design for close-in shooting. So it shouldn't take very much to put it on, and so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. I just want to go through it, show you kind of what you need to do. Uh, every gun's a little bit different, but not much. Get that done, then we'll take it out later, put it on the range work up a load for it. This is going to be a hundred yard gun at the most. That's what it's going to be based around. The gun itself is CBA Kodiak Magnum. It's a little heavy for what a lot of people consider brush gun, but it's a nice little gun. It's one I've got on hand. So that's what we're going to use. And as you can see, this is a very, very simple swap over. I've got the scope. I've got a flathead screwdriver and a set of Allen wrenches. That's all you need. And the only reason I needed the screwdriver is I actually removed the stock iron sights from this gun. Uh, they're never going to get used. I needed the clearance on the rear sight, so I removed it. I went ahead and took the front sight off. Cleans up the look of the gun quite a bit. Uh, I like it that way. You're not going to use these with the mounts I've got, so you know, took them off. They're simple to put back on if you want to. So we're going to move along, get this on, and just give you some real quick basics on how to put a scope onto one of your guns. Once I've got this old scope removed, what I've done is I've just placed the new scope in the scope rings, on the bottom of the scope rings. Haven't tightened anything up yet. Uh, one thing I did make sure I did was, as you can see, my work surface is black, which is not really good for keeping track of small screws. So I put a white piece of cardboard down to make sure that I could keep track of the eight little screws that go into this thing because they have a real bad habit of getting lost. So make sure you've got something down that contrasts with your scope mount so that you can keep track of these. And what I'm going to do now is lightly put the tops on and then once that's done I'll come back and what I'm going to do is adjust the scope forward or rear until it gets rid of the parallax, which is the black ring you'll see inside your scope. And when that goes away, according to how I hold my gun, then I know it's ready to finish tightening them down. And the other thing I'll do is make sure that my crosshairs are perpendicular to the barrel of the gun, meaning the one going up is straight and the one going across is level. And so it's plumb, it's level, and it's straight to the barrel of the gun, and it's where I need it, and then we'll come back and go from there. Like I said, it's a very, very simple process. What I'm doing here is starting my screws in. And again, these are Allen heads. But what I do is I put them from corner to corner, and then I'll go back and put my other set in corner to corner not tightening them down at all. I'm just getting them started in. The scope sits fairly tight into these bottom half of the rings. So once this is done, I'll take the gun and get the scope where I want it. And then, once that's done, I'll tighten them down. And again, I'll go cross the pattern when I tighten, meaning I'll go from here, from corner to back corner, front corner to back corner, back corner to front corner. I'll do it in an X pattern and be careful to not over tighten. They have to be tight, but you don't want to crush your scope tube. And you also want to watch as you tighten them down that you're tightening them. This gap on each side goes away at the same rate, meaning you're not cocking your rings one way or another. So you're going to tighten them down as, as a level rate. All right, and that's it for this. And let me get the gun picked up off camera and then I'll be right back with you. 
All right, after some very minor adjustments, I've got the scope where I want it. <clears throat> and again, be careful right here because this is where you can actually cause your scope to turn a little bit one way or another. So I'm gonna turn a few cranks here and a few cranks here. And I'm gonna go up here. And I'm going here. And again, I do this cross pattern. This is how I was taught to do it. It works really well for me. Now I'm one of those folks that's got a bad habit of being a scope creeper, meaning that I tend to get a little closer to the scope than I probably should at times. But I know this, <clears throat> so I make sure I hold whatever I'm shooting really tight so that I don't get cut above the eye. I'm actually keeping my fingers down here so I can feel the rings tightening up as I go. Check here. All right, I'm going to take a second. I'm going to check the gun again, make sure my rings are doing what I want to. And I'm going to finish tightening them up, and that'll be it. I'll be back in just a second. All right, there we go. It just took me a couple of minutes to get the scope adjusted, and sure enough, as I was tightening it down, <clears throat> it took a small turn to the left and wasn't perpendicular to the barrel, so I had to make sure that I took a minute to get that corrected. I moved it back and forth a bit. You know, I might be able to move it a tiny bit more, but it's pretty good. And then the last thing that I, I would want to do, actually I've already done it on this scope, but you might be able to see a tiny gap right here. <clears throat> and what this is, is this is a focusing ring, and which is great for me. It lets you adjust it to your eye. Now, I wear glasses, and one of the very few times in the field that I do not have to wear glasses now is when I'm shooting with scope, because the scopes take over for my glasses, I can get rid of them for a while, just use the optics to see what I need to see and shoot. So this thing is ready to go to the range. Now I do have a, a bore sighter, I use a laser of bore sighter, and do not think that just because you've got a bore sighter that this thing you know, is gonna be dead on at you know, 100 yards just because you bore sighted it. That's not what they do, they simply get it close and close might be five inches off at 50 yards or three inches off at 50 yards or whatever it is. It is simply made to get you on the paper. So my next step is to wait until I lose a little light. Uh, they work a little better in dimmer light. So this afternoon I will set a target up at about you know 25 yards and I will take my bore sighter, put it in here, get the gun relatively close according to the bore sighter and then when I take it out to shoot, hopefully it won't take me many shots to get this thing on to where I want it. Thanks for staying with me through this uh, really quick build. We're going to, again, take this gun out, get it sighted in, do what we need to do, and then check back because we're going to be doing the same thing with the crossbow and getting it set up and shooting a really, really high-tech scope on that one. So come back and check back in with us and check out our uh, crossbow video and thanks for stopping by.